Alright, I wanted to make this video because this is uh, something that's always kind of bothered me that's in the case file. This is a four page fax between the Rosemont Public Safety Department and the Target Forensic photo portion of Target, I guess you could say. Um, let me zoom in here. This one says, okay, this starts with page one. And he wrote in, they wrote in, attach copy of completed request form to Target. Now, this is a forward request for forensic services from Rosemont from PSO Anthony Cuchella and it sent a carbon copy as you can see here to Detective Sergeant Rose and this was made at 8.37 a.m. on Wednesday September the 13th to forensics at target.com attachment forensic services fact sheet PDF 66 KB okay the person's name is Julie that they're in contact with it says please say see the attached completed request form also when you are available this morning could you please give me a call to discuss the attached discuss attaching the video portion if you can't reach me at extension 297 you can try 858. Should you have any questions and or concerns, please let me know. In regards, Anthony Cunchella, Public Safety Officer, Rosemont Public Safety Department, Uniformed Patrol Division Squad 1, address and phone number, all that, okay? Uh, and this sounds pretty much like generic stuff on the bottom, okay? Now, what we see down here is 30 minutes prior, because that's at 8.37. This is at 8.07. So 30 minutes prior to that email, Detective Sergeant Rose sent Anthony Cuchella an email at 8.07 in the morning. And it's forwarding the request for Forensic Services Rosemont from Detective Sergeant Rose with his number, Investigative Division Squad 5. So y'all are apparently not in the same squads. So I don't know what that matters, but okay. Major Case Assistant Team Investigator, MCAT, number 256. And the same information again. Now, by the email's timestamp, Detective Sergeant Rose from the Major Case Ass Assistant team investigator appears to be downgrading the death investigation by handing it over to a uniform patrol officer. Okay. In other words, you handle the target stuff because it's below my pay rate. And you can see down here at the bottom, oops, sorry, of the facts. It's from 9-13-17. Okay, that's page one. Now let's go to page two. And this is still part of that generic part of the email, what I was referring to. So then the day before, on the 12th, at 1027 AM, I don't know why they have these pages in reverse order, but we're going to follow along. So you have Detective Sergeant Rose sending a carbon copy to forensics. Okay, wait a minute. I'm sorry, excuse me. Forensics is sending it to Detective Sergeant Rose, and they're sending themselves a carbon copy. It says, Request for Ser Forensic Services Rosemont. Sergeant Rose, please complete the request form below. I will send an additional email momentarily with a link to upload your video slash audio file as mentioned during our conversation. P 
please let us know if you are able to obtain a file from Facebook slash YouTube. This may be a better quality file. Attached is our laboratory fact sheet which will provide more information about who we are and what we do. Julie. Now, what that tells us is that whatever copy Detective Sergeant Rose had was a crappy copy of the live, which I'm assuming is what, because they're talking about Facebook and YouTube. And apparently per their conversation, he was going to try to obtain a better copy either from Facebook or YouTube. Now, that bothers me because I know that they had put in to get it directly from the Facebook profiles on which the lives actually came from. But upon seeking targets expertise in their forensic analysis area, he, they were going to be, he was going to be supplying them a crappy copy. So what in fact could they actually prove with that? Because we've already learned when we had the footage itself analyzed by a forensic expert that to get the ultimate truth 100% from it, you need the original. So, Detective Sergeant Rose, in my opinion, should have waited until he obtained it from Facebook. But that's just my opinion. Now here it shows uh, the forensic services from Target, which I'm assuming this is kind of like their, uh, their license maybe, I don't know what you want to call it, certification, because it has effective date as of August the 1st, 2017, Management System Document Form, Forensic Services Request Form. Thank you for contacting the Target Forensic Services Laboratory. Please fill out the bottom portion of this email with case information. This helps us speed up the process of evaluating your case examination. Simple, simply reply to this email and fill out each field. If your email client doesn't allow for entering data into the field, simply reply with requested information. Please attach a small video clip, audio clip, or still images as applicable when you reply to this email. Our examiner needs this to evaluate technical feasibility. So, this is where they filled it out. Customer information, Rosemont Public Safety Department, target TCM number or agency case number. It's got the Kanika Jenkins death investigation case file number. Case investigator, requester, title and name. Public safety officer, Kunchella. Not Detective Sergeant Rose, but Kunchella. With his email and how to contact him. And again, it's got the 13th on it. Now, this is page three. Although I've had, I've got several issues with this whole facts, these four pages, this is my biggest issue, okay? So these, they left blank and they said the offense is a death investigation. Location of the offense, which is the hotel. Time, date and time of the offense, 9-9-2017 at 12.48 hours, which is 12.48 p.m. on Saturday. Let that sink in for a minute. Case synopsis. Brief case description for evaluation by leadership. Our agency is requesting your assistance with a death investigation surrounding the victim, Kanika Jenkins, on 9-9-17. The victim was located deceased in a freezer located within the Crown Plaza O'Hare Hotel. Our agency is requesting your assistance to analyze or enhance a Facebook Live video post 
that is approximately six minutes long in order to determine if any criminal activity was present during the recording of the video. So that's Irene's video alive. But again, how is the offense at 12.48 on 9-9-2017? Has any arrest been made? And not applicable. Court date? Not applicable. Analysis to be performed. Audio analysis to enhance voices in the background conversations. Image clarification. Enhance images of un unidentified individuals throughout video time frame six minute long. Video clarification. Overall clarity of entire video to include reflections off the sunglasses seen in the video. Scope of request. Include details the examiner needs to know to find, evaluate, and examine the evidence such as time frame of the incident, description of the person or vehicle of interest, whether the item has been handled, uh, specific areas of interest to be processed from latent prints. And the notes are, enhance all subjects that enter the room, oh I'm sorry, enter the video, Enhance images of female subjects' sunglasses. Enhance audio of background conversation. Enhance overall video and audio quality. Note, an Excel spreadsheet could be provided at your request that it indicates certain time frames along with snapshots of subjects, which also include possible comments made in the background. Description of the evidence being submitted. This video is being shared all over Facebook and YouTube, which was created through a Facebook Live. A subpoena requesting the original first generation native format from Facebook is underway. Unknown at this time how soon we will have a copy, that copy of the video from Facebook. Name of individual sending evidence to the lab, Public Safety Officer Conchella 1425. If these items have been forensically examined previously, please explain. Not applicable. Then it shows analysis, analysis to be performed. The most typical types of analysis we're asked to perform are video analysis, image clarification, video clarification, image analysis, and audio analysis. Again, this is on the 13th. which to me it says about converting well guess what I know how to do that myself too I don't know all right and the last page is page four and there's some more there things that they can be done notice you are hereby notified of the following that the test methods are either generally accepted by the relevant forensic community or tested validated within our lab, the examiner responsible for the request will select the most appropriate examinations and test methods based on the information provided by the customer. We may notify or we may modify the wording of your request to align to our procedures. Image clarification cases are not e examinations in the context of AC, ASCLD Labs International Testing Program, please note if we don't receive evidence within two weeks of our shipping instructions, the laboratory may close the case. Okay, so yes, I came to look up those initials to find out what it meant. The American Society of Crime Laboratory Directors. Is what does the ASCLD do? It's a nonprofit professional society of crime laboratory directors and forensic science managers dedicated to providing excellent excellence in forensic science through leadership and innovation. That don't tell me squat. It says uh the accreditation initiative team is comprised of laboratory directors, quality assurance 
managers, and technical subject matter experts that have been trained and certified as assessors by the accre accrediting organization and have served in the role as an assess assessor for the accreditation, accreditation blah, 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 program. Why were they formed? It was established to meet the needs of criminal justice system and the merger with ANAB will enhance our ability to continue and strengthen the, that important service. Okay. Is it required in all the crime labs in the United States? At least 10 states, California, Hawaii, Indiana, Maryland, Missouri, Nebraska, New York, North Carolina, Oklahoma, and Texas. Uh, do, 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 do. And it was formed in 1974. So really, I don't know what the hell that still has to do with Target Labs. Other than I guess they have one in Target. So we're back over here. It says, once we receive the information, assuming your request meets our acceptance criteria, you can expect to receive one or more of the following. Evidence, submission, instructions, and guidelines as applicable. Clar clarified images from your evidence when video or photographic, photographic, I'm sorry, evidence is submitted as applicable. A report and work product outlining our full examination of your evidence when a full exam is conducted, a memo detailing why your request analysis cannot be performed based on the samples you provided if an examination cannot be performed. And they sent this, let's see, this is from out of Las Vegas, is one address and then Minneapolis, Minnesota is the other address so I don't know which one it came from now so going back to the biggest thing that bothered me which was them listing the time and date of the offense of being at 12 48 p.m. on Saturday so what I did was I went back and looked at the timeline of what was going on at that time on Saturday. And y'all know that I put my a lot of my folders together in chronological order. If I find <clears throat> post or footage or anything like that from certain time periods that I, that I'm say you know have put aside to save, I put it in that chronological folder. So, I'm going to go back and pull from that time frame. See what we find. Well, at 12.50, which is two minutes later, we have Teresa making a post saying, Teresa Martin is feeling blessed with Kanika Martin. When you give your life back to God and the devil overhear you talking to your daddy, God, you better... Be ready for how hard the devil will try to bring you down. Father God, you said you will never forsake nor will you leave me. I'm asking you in Jesus' name to, I'm pleading the blood of Jesus that you bring my baby home in the mighty name of Jesus. And the screenshot was taken 15 seconds prior. Uh, afterwards, I'm sorry. Then I have a post from Zach that's 10 minutes after about his interview with Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. Now, now in this folder, I happen to have this a screenshot where I'm comparing what the EXE file and the ABI footage looks like in comparison, which is at oh well, I guess it'd be at at 1.45 and that's about as close as I've got I've got about 20 minutes earlier where Kenneth Tart and Rashawn Mitchell had gone live in the car on their way to the trenches if I remember correctly 
and that was at 12.27 p.m. Now, this was 30 minutes prior to that when we had Leonora, Paris, and Kiki go up to the hotel, and they talked with Resco. And this was prior to them going over to the police department and making the missing persons report. Now, the only thing that I can find that's even close to that is this audio call at 12.47 and 49 seconds. This is where dispatch is going to ask Kevin Kittenbell, 201, to come to the lobby of the police department, of the public safety department, to fill out a missing persons report. Two zero one. Two zero one. Two twenty five. The lobby for a station report is going to be a missing person from the Crown Plaza. Now, if in fact that is the timestamp that he's going with after the call was made that they wanted to do a missing persons report, that alone should show why Detective Sergeant Rose messed up when he handed this down to PSO Conchella because by the 13th when Conchella was doing this with Target, it was well known when the offense actually took place, which was not when the missing persons report was made. Unless they know something we don't know. And how would that be a, such a coincidence that when Leonora went to make the report, that is when she died? Because we don't have a time of death. Is that what y'all are implying? Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. If any of y'all know better than I do as far as why they would list the time of the offense of being at that time, please feel free to comment. I'm open to all kinds of opinions at this point. 